Okay, so let's look at a few alkane reactions. Well, actually, we're only going to look at one type of alkane reaction. And uh, what I mean by an alkane reaction is that in the reactants, one of the reactants is an alkane. Okay, so one of the uh, reactants is an alkane. And we're going to look at alkane plus oxygen. Alkane plus oxygen produces the product is carbon dioxide, okay, carbon, obviously coming from the alkane that consists of carbons, dioxide, two oxygens, okay, the oxygens obviously combination with, um, with oxygen. Then I still have um, hydrogens left, and the hydrogens also interact with the oxygens to produce um, dihydrogen oxide, or you might know it as water, carbon dioxide and water. Now one thing that you might not know is that this is exactly what happens in an engine. Okay, When you have an engine with fuel in it, you have an alkane reacting with oxygen producing carbon dioxide, which everyone is saying is destroying our uh, environment and water which you can see on a cold morning um, evaporating from the exhaust at the back okay that's exactly the reaction that is driving you to school or to work every day okay and this is called a combustion reaction so this is the type of reaction called combustion okay so let's look at an example of com combustion let's look at lighter fluid so if you light a lighter, you are lighting butane, C4H10, plus oxygen, O2, produces carbon dioxide plus water, H2O. Let's see if we can, um, if we can balance this equation. To balance it, we see if we've got four carbons here. And we've only got one carbon on this side. So if I multiply this with a 4, now I see I've got 4 carbons, two ox uh, 8 oxygens, 9 oxygens. And that won't fly because on this side I have, um, uh, well, let's see, the hydrogens are also not, uh, not sorted. I've got 2 hydrogens here. I've got 10 hydrogens here. So I still need to multiply this one with 5. But it won't work because on this side I can only ever have an even number of oxygens. So whatever I do with this one, it will have to be an even number. Okay. Now the only way I can get this to be an even number, and since this is the only hydrogen, okay, I will the, the next number I can choose that's even that could have a multiple of 10 is 20. So in other words, if I have 20, so let's take this off, if I have 20, um, not 20 of those, two of these, I have 20 hydrogens, which means this must be multiplied with 10. So now I've got 20 hydrogens, 10 oxygens here, but okay, I must first do the carbons to see how many oxygens I'm going to have there. So I've got 8 carbons here, so I need an 8 here. So now I can, I've got even numbers all over, so I can, I can do this. So I've got 8 times 2, which is 16 oxygens, plus another 6 oxygens, give, sorry, another 10 oxygens gives me 26 oxygens. So since I've, they come in pairs of two, I need 13 pairs of this. Okay, so you can see these ones are very difficult to actually uh, balance, but this is the balanced chemical reaction. Let's quickly count the carbons. I've got eight carbons, eight carbons. Hydrogens, I've got 20 hydrogens, 20 hydrogens. Oxygens, I've got 26 on this side. I've got eight times two here, which is 16, plus another 10, which is 26. Um, of the, uh, the water molecules. This was water combusting. Okay, how is so <laughs> water combusting? I lie, sorry. This is butane, it's lighter fluid burning up. So let's look at octane. Let's look at what happens in your um, engine. This is 
8 carbons, double that plus 2 is 16, plus 2 is 18, okay, that is octane, okay, plus oxygen, which is what, why you need an air filter on your car, we get carbon dioxide plus water. Okay, so we'll have to take the same process again. Okay, we need, we have 18 hydrogens on this side. On this side, I've got two. I need an even number. As you can see, there's an even number on this side. And so this side must also be an even number. So what, so there's already an even number here. So whatever I multiply here must be an even number. So if I multiply with a nine here to get 18 hydrogens, it won't work because I will have an uneven number of oxygens. So it will have to be the next even number. And this one is already on one. I can only make it two now. Okay. So if I have this is two, I've got hydrogens now as 36. To get 36 hydrogens, I need 18 um, times two. If I've got two carbons here, I've got, um, I need, sorry, I don't have two carbons, I've got 16 carbons now, so I need 16 here. 16 times 2 gives me 32 oxygens. On this side, I've got 18 oxygens, which means I've got a total of 50 oxygens, which means this one must be multiplied with 25 to give me 50 in total. Okay, that is definitely not easy. Okay, um, well, I don't think it's that difficult, but uh, you can see it's quite a process having to uh, f balance these equations. Okay, so let me do one more for you, um, and I want you to notice that in front here we always had a 2. Okay, and you can almost um, uh, certainly know that it will have a 2 if this is an even number. So if I've got an even number of carbons, I will need to multiply with a 2 in order to balance the whole thing. But let me show you if I had an uneven, so this is non main 9 carbons, okay, 9 times 2 is uh, 18, plus 2 is 20 hydrogens plus a certain number of oxygens will combust to produce carbon dioxide plus certain number of water molecules and notice now why it is easier because I've got on the left hand side 20 hydrogens okay half of 20 is an even number well in in each of these cases half of the the um, hydrogens were always odd which meant I had to get an odd number um, uh, on, on the other side. I have to multiply with half, since I already have two there. So for example, if I had 10 here, I had to multiply with five to get 10, okay? That's why I had to multiply with two here, so that I have to multiply with 10. I need an even number in front of the water, because I need an even number of oxygens because on the left hand side I've got an even number of oxygens. Okay, so that was the problem, but now half of, and this is odd, half of the number of hydrogens will always be even. So, here we only need 10. Now I've got 20 hydrogens on this side, 20 hydrogens on that side. Okay, 9 carbons on this side, if I multiply this with a 9, I've got 9 carbons on this side. Now I've got 18 oxygens in the first one, and now the 10, which gives me a total of 28 oxygens, okay, while I've got pairs, and you can see that's an even number, which is the important part, I've got pairs of 2. I need 14 pairs of 2 oxygens to have 28 oxygens in total, and there is my balanced equation. So before you freak yourself out trying to find it, if you can remember this simple um, principle, then you should be able to balance these equations fairly easy just by knowing what the first coefficient should be, because uh, it can only um, be a 2 or a 1, based on whether it's even or odd. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something useful, and you can apply it in future lessons. See you soon.